few words on the XRT. This setup I have right now is probably my favorite. Um, it's stock with Arma back foot tires and a 22 pinion and a 50 spur. And the reason why I like it is because it is lightweight and still has power, stock electronics. It's decent. Um, now I do have on order the fucking Castle Motor and Mamba Monster ASC because mine burnt, burnt out. Using the KV1100 motor, Leopard motor. That fucking Leopard motor um, has some pretty shitty bullet connectors on it that fit loose and it shorted out the ESC. It probably uh, cracked from being loose and then burnt. So I returned that motor. I'm, I shipped off the Castle ESC for warranty and I ordered a new Castle motor, the uh, 1717 1265 KV and a new Mamba Monster ESC. So in the meantime, I'm running it on stock. And I got to say, I like, I like this stock setup because it's so lightweight. One thing I, I don't like is adding so much weight. I mean, it's just more shit breaks. Everything has to push harder to keep it moving. But when I get my castle motor, it'll be my first castle motor I ever owned. It's censored, so I'm gonna see what that feels like running it. Still trying to understand what having a censored motor is for. I understand it helps, it tracks your revolutions and sends a pulse right at the right revolution for speed. Or, or so I'm interested in what that is like. I'm gonna try that castle motor and ESC out, see if I like it. And if I don't, I'm gonna return them both and go with the Max 6 and a Hobby Wing. They're cheaper products, nothing wrong with them. I have a Hobby Wing KV1100 motor in my, in my X Max right now. But um, unless you have the, the Wide Max setup, the X-Max with all that power is real hard to control. And if you hit something going fast, pretty much breaks everything in that X-Max. So now this XRT handles like a dream and it's tough as fuck. Very, very tough RC. Seldom breaks stuff on it. Now I got all the pins in it. Suspension pins hold everything together. Damn. I love these tires. They're just good. They're not belted, so they haven't ballooned yet. I'm waiting for them to balloon and be ruined, but so far, so good. They're holding together real strong. I do have the Proline Masters, which is an awesome, awesome tire, but they're heavy. They're pretty heavy. And you definitely feel the weight 
all that weight puts strain on everything so keeping it light is what I'm into right this second uh, I did order the M2C ESC mount because I plan on getting a big ass motor in the future and uh, to put the big motor on you got to move your ESC back farther and farther keep asking myself what's up why do I need all that power I mean this thing has lots of power right now stock I love this thing so to keep this thing cool right now I'm running the upgraded fans to a 7.4 volt 2S battery via this connection here. So this battery is running these fans at a higher voltage so they run faster. The ESC motor is uh, the power hobby motor and uh, that's running off the, off, the B, off the BC of the ESC so it's not overpowered. Running my lights, got that one's out. But running my lights off of that battery, and this is running off the ESC. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to get into running an uh, external BEC. I'd rather run off an external battery. And uh, keeping it cool, the motor is not hot. The ESC is a little warm, reading at 130. Um, Anybody know what the safe high temperature is for the ESC? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.